I'm Major Carmona. And I'm Michael Zaharis. And welcome to this edition of WBLN in the Middle for today, March 20th, 2018. The famous company Uber has removed its self-driving cars from the streets after what is believed to be the first fatality involving a fully auto autonomous car. The self-driving Uber SUV struck and killed 49-year-old Eleni Herzberg as she walked her bicycle across the street in Temp, Arizona, Sunday night. According to the Temple Police, the department is still investigating the crash. In Belen News, next Saturday, 8th grade Belen students will be going on the close-up trip. Benjamin Romanach has more. In this close-up trip, you will first be landing in Washington. Then the day after that, you will be visiting the Governor's Palace, which is the home of seven royal governors. The next day, you will be leaving to Philadelphia. And in Philadelphia, you will be learning you will be in the National Constitutional Center. Day four of the trip, you will be traveling to Gettysburg and see the Gettysburg Cyclorama and also the Gettysburg Address, where President Lincoln made a two minute speech. Then in the fifth day, you stay in Gettysburg and get a tour of George Washington's mansion. In this interview, I asked Samuel Bayuna what he is looking forward to for Close Up. What are you looking forward to the most about going to Close Up with your friends? Well, I'm really excited because, first of all, it's an experience that most people don't go through. And uh, I'm thankful that I have the opportunity to go on it, this trip. And, and it's just something, it's a place I've never been, it's something I've never done. I'm really happy to be doing it with my friends. In this image is the class of 2021 in front of President Washington's mansion. And I will be Antonio Ponte and asking him what he would like to learn about when he goes to Close Up. Is there something you'd like to learn about when you go to Close Up? Um, I'm really excited to see all the important documents, um, the, the lawmaking <laughs> the lawmaking process and um, how everything is down there. Reporting for WBLN in the Middle, this is Benjamin Romanach. Well, Nation Week is over. Tommy Duca tells us how it went. Ignatian Week is an annual event where Belen Jesuit celebrates its Ignatian Jesuit identity. It's a time when we celebrate our Ignatian heritage, our Ignatian traditions. The week is full of events that remind us to run to the fire. We started this week out with a mass. We had the Iggy Bolt. Uh, we're having a special speaker. It's a surprise, but it is definitely going to um, go along with our theme of run to the fire. We celebrate Ignatian Week this week because March 12th, which was yesterday, is the date of the canonization of Ignatius and Francis Xavier. Belen is one of the only Jesuit high schools that celebrates this week, making it truly unique and special. What I really like about Ignatian Week is that it gives us a chance to stop and look at where we came from. Reporting for WBLN in the Middle, I'm Tommy Duque. Thank you, Tommy. Scientists have detected traces of the earliest light in the universe thought to em emanate from the first stars formed after the Big Bang billions of years ago. The new report published in Nature on February 28th said researchers found the quote-unquote fingerprint of the universe's first light as background radiation left on hydrogen. This is the first time we've seen any signal from this early in the universe aside from the afterglow of the Big Bang Theory, said Judd Bowen, an astronomer at Arizona State University who led the work, said in a statement. Following the Big Bang, physicists believe there was only darkness in the universe for about 180 million years a period known by scientists as Cosmic Dark Ages. Now stay with us as we bring you weather and sports after these messages. What's up guys, the weather has been looking nice these past few days. Now let's take a look at today and the next few days. 
The temperatures will be at a high of 88 degrees and a low of 68 degrees. The relative humidity will be at 69%. The winds will be southwest at 14 miles per hour. There will be scattered thunderstorms. The precipitation will be at 20%. The highs will be at, a, at, at mid 70s to high 80s. And the lows will be from mid 50s to low 60s. Thank you, and that's all for weather. Now on to Michael Martelli for sports. All right, guys, it's sports time. Belen Jesuits Adam Agulis has broken quite a long standing record. He has passed J.C. Alvarez's 8th grade 3200 meter. The record has been in place for 38 years. All right, guys, now we're in March Madness season. Uh, we are now at the Sweet 16. There have many cl been many close games, uh, and many hearts have been broken. Here's the Sweet 16 bracket. Information and scores can be found on ESPN.com. That's all for sports, and back to you guys at the desk. Be sure to follow us on YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook. That's all for your news for today. I'm Michael Zaharis. And I'm Major Carmona. From everyone here, have a wonderful day, and stay golden.